Okay, so if you're looking at my screen, I know it has the VDI up there, but where it says VDI in the upper left-hand corner, um, you have the inventor program. All this is, is like English class, right? You start writing a paper from the top left and go to the right. That's pretty much how this program is laid out. So in inventor, once you're here, remember, this is super crucial. So follow these steps because it will not work if you don't do this. We're gonna go to file, right up here, little yellow. It's gonna have a drop down menu, like Microsoft Word or whatever else, or slides, whatever you use, the typical stuff. I'm gonna create new, right? Let's create new, right here, just new. What are, what are my options? I have, there's a little drop down menu here that says EN-US, okay? I want you to click the little arrow next to it and you wanna, there's English, there's mold design, like if you were um, the manufacturer of gummy bears, they have a mold that they used um, this program to literally make the gummy bear shape, right? We're not doing that, we are building uh, little slide boxes, and I'll let you um, put Purdue on there, your pet's engravement, like the dog body or the dog's name or Purdue, um, whatever you want if it's school appropriate. But what I want us to do is we want to pick metric because this is a universal, global type of measurement that we will use often together, even through my high school my high school construction class. Now, what do I want to do up here? We have options, right? We have parts, we have assemblies. So if there's moving parts or multiple parts that you put together, right? We're going to pick something. This is very important, this part too. We're going to pick standard MMIPT right here. And then we are going to create. Now, give it a second, it's gonna load. And you have all these tools up here, right? Essentially, you're going to create this box, remember? And you're gonna three-dimensionally blueprint this using drawing tools um, and through 3D model. You have all these choices up here, but I'll let you navigate and play with that later and explore it individually and see how comfortable you are with different tools, um, with 3D modeling, and I will also give a demo on that. We're not there yet. If you can get to just this point today, we've all won as a class. The last part though, I will get to is, I don't have a project on here, it's blank, right? But say we did. Say we had the best drawing ever of one of these boxes, boiler up, Go, go tip a canoe, whatever it is, right? Um, we want to save it, and we want to save as. Well, where to? Right up here, I know you can't really see it, but the very top one says save as. I'm going to put BGMS for Battleground Middle School, best class Mr. Young has ever taught. Box. Right? Hold up, hold up. Let me finish. That's the best class I've ever taught, Box. That's what we're going to name it. Now, there's the important part. Before you save it, we want to leave it as this type, right? Inventor type right there. But you have to find, of course, my Google Drive isn't on here. I don't have an HP laptop like you guys. But you are going to have to save it to your Google Drive. And I will show you how to do that once we get there. But essentially... You know the login process now, for the, those of you that were absent, were caught up. You know what the VDI is to input every day, including your student emails to get into the actual program. You know to always open Google Drive before you open Inventor, so that we have somewhere to save your nice, wonderful box to, okay? Once we're done for the day, every single day, we're gonna save that box wherever progress we are at into your Google Drive and it'll be there tomorrow. You can go to another teacher's class and if you go to your Google Drive, you'll see that file there ready to open. Will you be able to open it on your Chromebooks? No, because this program 
of Inventor is much too large to actually fit on those hard drives and it takes way too much RAM um, to run. So there's way too much processing. It would not, it's not gonna work. So, but you could see it there, yes. And you'll save it in your drive forever. So that when, when I see you at Harrison in a couple of years, uh, we can pull that up and reminisce about the project and how far you've grown as a student. But that's the super important thing I want you to take away from today. You need to be able to log in, which we've been over together already. You need to make sure that your Google Drive is open before you open Inventor. Otherwise, whatever you try and save is not going to save. Always save your project to Google Drive, your Google Drive, and we're going to do just fine, okay? If you get to this point today or, or you're stopping right there, because that's as far as you can go, I implore you. That means I give you permission and I hope you do. Explore the tools up here. See if you can get to the drawing phase where you can change the axes and create a little box and measure it out to be, I don't know, how many millimeters that is. If anybody wants to measure with a ruler, go ahead. Try and match it up, okay? I also, on each of your tables, have been polite enough to not only give you my spiel, but step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this entire process in case I fell ill and couldn't be here for you each day. You could do this entire thing without me all the way to the 3D printers. So, know that, look at the pictures, you can literally mimic them. What are their settings? Um, how long am I gonna make each side of the box? How thick am I gonna make each piece? What piece am I gonna, what piece am I gonna grab from my tools to use as the top slider of the box, right? I will go over it with you step by step, but if you want to work at your own pace, you're more than welcome to. So, I even have color copies of these if you want those. Um, they're wonderful. So, if we can get here today, it's a success. I know the computers are rolling slow. Not your fault. We're going to make it work. Nice work, everyone. And now I will take questions and float around.